I've got that fish in affliction. Hey, I'm Art Defoe and I've got that fish in affliction. Hi, I'm Denny Brower and I've got that fish in affliction. Hey, I'm Mark Menendez and I've got that fishing affliction. I'm Bobby Lane and I got that fishing affliction. Hi, I'm Chris Lane and I got that fishing affliction. I'm Shaw Grigsby and I got that fishing affliction. Just like me. Here, fishy, fishy, here, fishy, fishy, here, fishy, fishy, here. <laughs> you son of a gun. Here he is, big fish, and I'll be the giant. All right. Well, folks, it's time to wet a line because it's fish and affliction time, and welcome into today's episode as we continue with the celebration of fish and affliction's four year anniversary by featuring the second episode ever of fish and affliction of how it all began. And you'll see how the big dog saved the day that very first trip for fish and affliction TV. Can't get enough Fish and Affliction? Then be sure to subscribe to us there at our YouTube channel and be sure to like us there at our popular Facebook page and at the end of the show, you'll meet the Fish and Affliction Facebook Friend of the Week. So sit back and enjoy as we continue our four-year anniversary celebration by featuring the second episode ever of Fish and Affliction of how it all began for Fish and Affliction TV. Me and old Rusty's gonna go catch them down at the fishing hole Well, you better stick around, cause you don't know what you're missing Yeah, me and old Rusty's got that fishing affliction Grab your hats, grab your baits, don't forget your poles We're gonna fire up that old nitro boat and head to the fishing hole We're gonna try to catch a big one yeah, that's what we're wishing Cause me and old Rusty's got that fish in affliction Yeah, me and old Rusty's got that fish in affliction yeah. Man, and we've got it bad It's a season premiere. Well, folks, for the very first airing of Fish and Affliction TV, Vicki, myself, Catfish, Mama Hazel Helms, and the whole family went on over to my mother's house for a big-time breakfast spread and the opportunity to sit there together and watch the first episode of Fish and Affliction TV. And after sharing a great time with the family, it was time to get down to the business of Fish and Affliction and the fact that we were going to be doing this each and every week of the year. So episode number two, picked up right where we left off from episode number one as we were dealing with those extremely tough conditions down there on Gunnersville, trying to catch the first fish ever caught on Fishing Affliction TV. And it looks like they were going to have to be caught through the ice. Well, as far as ice fishing, here's the technique. <laughs> Throw the spinnerbait up on the ice and get it across the top until it goes in the through the slush. Water. Unbelievable. This is how it's been today. We've been dealing with water temperature. That is been basically in the well, the high high 30s. Well, 36. So we've seen 30. The lowest as we've seen is 36.3. And obviously that water right there is frozen. So needless to say, the conditions are tough. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Did I say the water should be warmer over here? Yep. Well, I was not right. You leaving already? No, I'm not leaving. I'm looking for my gloves. 
Well, folks, while the big dog is looking for his gloves, let me show you the very first graphic we ever used for Fish and Affliction TV. Lake Gunnersville is located in eastern Alabama and has 69,000 acres of trophy bass waters to fish. But at this stage of the game, we still haven't caught the first one for Fish and Affliction TV. But we're sure having a whole lot of fun. And keep in mind, this was the very first time that I ever spent time in the boat with the big dog. And folks, from from the first moment on, I realized the big dog takes fishing unbelievably serious, but he's also a whole bunch of fun. And folks, since this very first day of fishing for Fish and Affliction TV, the big dog and I have been on the water almost 200 times fishing for Fish and Affliction TV. Enjoying each other's company and many times having another person in the boat like Catfish is with us today and enjoying the blessings of being out in God's beautiful outdoors and trying to figure out how to catch those fish. Okay, well there's no denying that it's been tough so far. Quarter to one and uh, we're fixing to make a run anyway. We? Yeah, we're getting ready to load up and going up to one of the upper end creeks and just see if we can get bit up there. We have not had a bite that we know we were hooked up on. And we're needing some, just to like to see that temperature just get a little bit warmer. Well, I mean, we're at 40.1 right here. We're on the main channel. And I mean, it's just tough, buddy. Well, it is tough. We're gonna, we're gonna actually put the boat on the trailer and take it up and, a little ways and see what we can find. And eat about half of that 15 pound lunch. Wait sack. a minute, who's gonna eat half? You. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, folks, it's time to load up and try to find a place where we can catch the very first bass ever on Fish and Affliction TV there on Lake Gunnersville. So stay tuned to see what happens next as we celebrate four years of Fish and Affliction TV with our second episode ever of Fish and Affliction. And right now, we're going to see the second ever In the Wild segment. In the Wild. Your pictures. In the Wild. Folks, this In the Wild picture of the week was sent to us by JD, who caught this six pound largemouth on Percy Priest Lake. That's a great fish and Percy Priest sure does have them. And we'd like to thank JD for sending this wonderful picture. Folks, send your pictures to pics at fishandaffliction.com. And don't forget to check out our website, www.fishandaffliction.com. We've got a product line, we've got the recipes of the week on the In the Skillet segment. We've even got the tournament trail results of the local tournaments that are happening in the area. So be sure to visit us at www.fishandaffliction.com.